I just want to say as we start this video that I don't have experience with this hardy inequality and this is a part of my attempt to work through trying to understand what is being presented with the hardy inequality. If I have errors in here, uh, please kindly uh, inform me of how to correct those errors. Um, I tried to interpret the information um, in a couple different ways and you see one way presented here. Uh, so hopefully I have been able to put something together accurately, but that may not be the case. Uh, hopefully this is something that is interesting to you. I want to take a look at a solid example using Hardy's inequality theorem. We have to choose a function and we need to choose a p-value. So for the function, I'm going to make my function of t to be t cubed. And so that makes my big F of x to be the integration from 0 to x of t cubed dt. And then I'm going to choose my p-value as 2. And then I just want to show that the inequality itself will work. <clears throat> so this is kind of fun. When we integrate, we are going to get 1 fourth t to the fourth evaluated from 0 to x. And then this is going to go to zero. So we end up with this when we integrate the right-hand side. So we have that big F of x is equal to one quarter x to the fourth. But then we need to find little f of x. And to do that, we're just going to take the derivative of big F of x to get this. When we take the derivative of this, we get little f of x. And when we take the derivative of this, we get x cubed. So little f of x is x cubed. So we need this piece of information, this piece of information, and this piece of information to insert into the inequality. We can reduce this piece here by this x. And so we're going to end up with 1 fourth x cubed, and that has to be squared. And then we can move this coefficient through the integrand and take it outside here. This is going to go to 4. And this is going to go to x to the 6th. Remember when these exponents are separated by a parenthesis, they multiply together. So we're looking at simplifying this. And what ends up happening is we get integrals that are the same with different scalar factors. So in this particular instance, we can see that since these are identical factors and the only difference is these factors, this factor is larger than this factor, so this should stay larger than this as it grows. So this particular integration is easy to see the inequality here. If we would choose something a little different for this f of t function here, we're going to see some different results. And as we change our p-value, we see a little bit of different results also. Uh, but as this function of t gets more interesting, this isn't as obvious here. Uh, so this is 
turned out to be a nice example. I've looked at this Hardy inequality uh, as I was looking at multidimensional integration. This was a piece that you needed to be familiar with before you went into the new materials dealing with the new theorem in multidimensional integration. So I had a little bit of fun working with this and trying to get my mind wrapped around what was going on with this inequality. I kind of thought this was a, a fun setup piece. If you have any experience with this, drop a comment below where you've had that experience. Uh, was it in a class? Was it in research you were doing? It's been interesting to me to see all these integrations involved in inequality arguments. Hopefully this has been interesting. Cheerful calculations.